I'm Louise Fletcher and I help artists to find their own unique creative voice. And today we're going to talk colour mixing, specifically greens. How do you get the colour greens that you want and why is it sometimes frustrating? I'm going to give you a practical hands-on demo to show you how having the right primary colours is essential to get the colours that you want. So let's go have a look. So back with another colour mixing video. This time I'm going to experiment with green. And we're just going to look at one yellow, which is this yellow medium from Art to Life. Art to Life are American paints. You can't buy these in the UK. I won them in a competition. I know somebody's going to ask me, but if you're in the US, you can buy these on, online. I have yellow medium, turquoise, cerulean blue. I never know if it's cerulean or cerulean. Blue ultramarine. I have a black and I have a white. And this is going to give us a tiny fraction of the greens it's possible to mix. But I just want to show you what happens when you vary one of the colours in a mix. And I want to inspire you, hopefully, to go off and practice this on your own. The tube colours for green are genuinely the worst. Like, I, I can't, I, I wouldn't let any of them darken my door. And you shouldn't either because you can mix up some incredibly beautiful greens. Let's start with cerulean blue. So I've got my colour swatch book here, which is just full of colour mixing experiments. Um, right, I'm going to begin with these two I said. So that we're using this deep yellow and we're using cerulean, cerulean, whatever it is, blue. So I'm just using at the moment different amounts of yellow and the blue here to get different that's nice very very zingy this this particular combination is very bright and what i call zingy now that's going to change when i add some white because always white tones down and kind of makes your colors a bit chalkier do you see now i don't do these these blobs in any order this i'm sure there's a much more systemic way to do this but I don't do I I just play so I'm thinking now right I put all that white in what if I put even more yellow in on top of that white what does that do well that makes this kind of pear green very turquoise so that's interesting so if you have cerulean blue and a, a mid yellow the cad yellow medium probably if you're buying another brand and cerulean blue it's bringing us to a turquoise which is really interesting so you don't actually need that tub of turquoise but let's go now to ultramarine blue and we're going to mix some of that with this yellow and see what the difference is in the green that we get and now I hope you can see, I hope the camera's picking up the difference, this is a much more, I would say more of an organic green it's more like what I would see in the trees outside my house. Now, if I push that towards yellow, that to me is more of a, um, a, we're getting towards spring greens. You know how greens look so vibrant when the leaves first come out? We're getting towards that kind of feeling now. Now, if I go more onto the blue side, add more blue, and that's still using the same yellow. We've got all these with the same yellow. I'm wondering about adding another blue into our experiment, which is this one, Thalo Blue Golden. This is actually Thalo Blue Green shade, so this leans more towards green. So that is again on the cool side, like the Cerulean. We're getting away from the natural greens, do you see, and more into what feel to me, the only word I can think of is like manufactured greens. If we make it really dark, we get this very cool green, really, really dark. And then if we add some white into that, you can see just how bluey it is. It's veering towards that blue again. So I recommend this. If you've got tubes of pre-mixed paint, go try mixing them with other things. You know, um, don't just say, oh, well, uh, Louise said we can't use pre-mixed paint. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. If you've got it, go see what it can do for you. I'm just saying I prefer to work in this way and find the colours myself, mainly because they then harmonise if you mix the colours yourself. If I mix a green using this turquoise and this turquoise is sitting on my palette, I'm then going to mix that turquoise into something else 
and or I'm going to use this same yellow and then the colours are going to harmonise in my painting. They're all going to work together in a way that they don't when we're switching. I mean, these are all working together in a way because they're all made from the same yellow. But if I came in and put a green made from a different yellow now, it wouldn't harmonise with these. It would look out of place because it's not come from the same family. And sometimes you want that in a painting. So there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just knowing what's going to happen. So this, but now what if I add, we know this ultramarine brings warmth into colours. Uh, and so what if I add some of that, but we're still working with the turquoise. See how it's warmed it up instantly. It's just instantly warmed it up. And put more of that in. It's never going to get it back to what ultramarine can give you by itself because it's got the turquoise in but it's warming it up, making it a little bit more towards natural colours, but not as natural as these ones up here, which were made with that. So that's it. So what I would recommend then is that you then do the same thing, keep these colours on your palette, but start with a different yellow. But what I want to show you before we finish this, this green video is what happens when you add black. So black can make some amazing greens. So let's try black with that yellow again. So this is completely different. This is making like an army green. Can you see? Really, really nice as a contrast to brighter greens. And a green that you might struggle to achieve with a blue. I'm adding a lot of yellow in now just to see what we can get that to. There's no blue in this. So we have just made green. You learned in school that blue and yellow make green, but actually black and yellow make green as well. If we actually use some light yellow, and in case you're asking what kind of black this is, it's a carbon black, which isn't the one I usually use. I usually use Mars black, so the, the, the black will also change the nature of the green that you mix up. Nice. You might say, oh, well, I didn't really love those, but add some blue in as well. And you're going to get a whole new field of greens that um, you haven't achieved when you didn't have black. And so don't feel restricted when you're experimenting with greens. Don't feel restricted to only blues. You'll tend to get, apart from with ultramarine, you'll tend to get these harsher greens with blues. And when you add some black in, you'll tend to make them um, more natural looking and so for nature greens I recommend black and or ultramarine blue and of course if we'd used a warmer yellow and even more orangey yellow like yellow deep we would have got different results again so it's about trying everything that you've got once again just hit the magnifying glass on my channel to search for other videos about color because there's lots there and you never need to buy colors other than the primaries black and white there's no need for any others, in my opinion. You can get, you know, so many beautiful colours just from working with the primaries. If you want to document what you've done, write down under the swatches what colours you used. Um, I used to do that when I first started out. So I would write the basic colours that created everything. Thalo, turquoise, cad orange light, cad yellow, black and white. And then I would just keep that and as a reference. But now that I'm more experienced, I just know. I know if I put that and that together, roughly what's going to happen. And so this and the way I know that is from doing this kind of thing regularly to find out. So constant color mixing is so much fun. It's so good for your artwork. It will take your artwork to a whole other level when you really understand how to master color. So I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you again soon.